Is Kyrie Irving misunderstood? Have you ever met someone who seems to march to the beat of their own drum? Maybe they have a unique way of looking at the world or an unconventional approach to life. Well, in the NBA, one player who fits that description is Kyrie Irving. From his enigmatic personality to his unorthodox views on the world, Kyrie has often been a subject of intense scrutiny and speculation. But is he really the misunderstood maverick that he's made out to be? Let's dive into the world of Kyrie Irving and see if we can separate fact from fiction. Picture this. It's the fourth quarter of an intense NBA game, and the crowd is on the edge of their seats. The ball's in the hands of Kyrie Irving, and he's sizing up his opponent with a look of steely determination in his eyes. With a flick of his wrist, he sends the ball soaring through the air and into the basket, scoring a crucial point for his team. The crowd erupts into cheers, but as Kyrie walks back to the sidelines, he's met with a chorus of boos and jeers. Why? Because as we all know, Kyrie Irving is no stranger to controversy. From his abrupt departure from the Cleveland Cavaliers to his flatter theories and anti-vaxxer beliefs, Kyrie has never shied away from speaking his mind, no matter how unpopular or unconventional his views may be. But is he really the misunderstood outcast that he's often made out to be? Or is there more to Kyrie's story than meets the eye? As it turns out, Kyrie's childhood was anything but easy. Born in Australia, Kyrie's family moved back to the U.S. where his mother tragically passed away from a blood infection when he was just four years old. It was a devastating loss that would shape Kyrie's life in ways he couldn't have imagined. With his father working in finance, Kyrie found solace in basketball. He was a prodigy on the court, and his father worried about his mental state. Kyrie is not a type A personality, he said. Those people are really strong-minded. They don't lack confidence. That wasn't Kyrie. Despite his father's concerns, Kyrie's laser focus on the game propelled him to become the number one pick overall in the NBA draft. But after hitting the game-winning shot to bring Cleveland its first championship, something changed in Kyrie. He began to speak more openly about his unconventional beliefs, including his belief that the Earth is flat. Can you really think of us rotating around the sun and all planets aligned, rotating in specific dates being perpendicular with what's going on with these planets, he mused. He also went vegan and told the media that steak doesn't come from anything natural. Needless to say, Kyrie's comments were met with ridicule and mockery from both the media and fans alike. It's worth noting that Kyrie is a truly unique player both on and off the court. His flashy moves and lightning-fast footwork have earned him countless accolades, including six NBA All-Star selections and an Olympic gold medal. But what really sets Kyrie apart is his unorthodox approach to life. He's known for his love of meditation, his interest in esoteric spirituality, and his willingness to question the status quo. Of course, not everyone is a fan of Kyrie's unconventional views. And according to Kyrie, the controversy was largely blown out of proportion by the media. In an interview with ESPN, he explained, It was just like, let me find out what's going on. Let me actually think for myself and actually do research on my own and figure out what the reality is. While his views may not align with mainstream science, Kyrie argues that he's simply trying to question the assumptions that we all take for granted. After all this drama, Kyrie moved from Cleveland to Boston. But Kyrie Irving's move from Cleveland to Boston wasn't just about escaping LeBron James' shadow. It was also an opportunity for Kyrie to establish himself as a leader and prove his worth as a top player in the league. But when he arrived in Boston, Kyrie found himself constantly hounded by the media over his flat-earth beliefs. Frustrated and exhausted, he eventually claimed it was all just a prank to get people off his back. Despite the scrutiny, Kyrie's plan seemed to be working. Boston went on a 16-game win streak, and Kyrie was leading the team to success. But then, disaster struck. Gordon Hayward suffered a horrific injury, and the team's hopes were once again in jeopardy. Kyrie stepped up, but he also began to feel the pressure mounting. Things only got worse when Kyrie himself got injured and was unable to play in the playoffs. But what the media doesn't know was that Kyrie was dealing with much more than just a physical injury. He had muscle atrophy in his left leg, a condition that made it difficult for him to do the things he loved. And just as anyone who has experienced chronic pain knows, it can lead to depression and other mental health issues. 
Despite all this, the media and even some fans accused Kyrie of being selfish for not showing up to support his teammates in Game 7. But the truth is, Kyrie was struggling with his own physical and mental health issues. He was misunderstood and unfairly criticized, all while dealing with a private battle that no one knew about. Well, Kyrie's time in Boston was a roller coaster ride of high expectations and disappointing results. After making a bold promise to Celtic season ticket holders and being hailed as a potential championship team, Kyrie's behavior started to turn sour. He threw his young teammates under the bus and got defensive when caught chatting with Kevin Durant during the All-Star game. But what the public didn't know was the pain Kyrie was going through behind the scenes. His grandfather's passing had sent him into a spiral of depression and suicidal thoughts, making it impossible for him to enjoy playing basketball. Despite being labeled a villain, Kyrie was actually just misunderstood. So, after Kyrie left the Celtics, everyone was expecting him to be the missing piece for the Brooklyn Nets. But things took a wild turn, my friend. Kyrie went off the deep end, like Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible. He started posting some cryptic rants on Instagram, talking about hermetic friends and seeing all. I mean, I don't know about you, but that sounds like something straight out of Harry Potter. And don't even get me started on the sage-burning incident in Boston. Was he trying to cleanse the arena or cast a spell on the opposing team? Then, in the middle of the season, Kyrie just disappeared like a magician's assistant. The Nets had no idea where he went or why he left. It's like he pulled a Houdini and vanished into thin air. But just when you thought things couldn't get any weirder, Kyrie showed up at a party with his sister. I mean, hey, family is important, but aren't you supposed to be playing basketball? And let's not forget about the whole vaccine controversy. Kyrie refused to get vaccinated, and the Nets had to make him a part-time player. I mean, I get it. Everyone's got their own beliefs. But come on, man. You're a professional athlete. It's not like you're fighting a wizarding war against he who must not be named. But after all that craziness, it turns out Kyrie's struggles might stem from a deep personal loss. His grandfather passed away in 2018, and Kyrie said it made him rethink his priorities in life. I mean, grief can do some weird things to a person. Just look at Hamlet. The dude went off the rails after his dad died. Also, in an Instagram Live video, he explained he was not against vaccines in general, but rather, he's concerned about the lack of long-term data on the COVID-19 vaccine specifically. I'm just saying, in what I know and what I'm unsure about, he said, I'm not here to create any more division or separation. It's easy to dismiss Kyrie Irving as a crazy, out-of-touch athlete who's gone off the deep end. But when you take a closer look at his life and the struggles he's faced, it becomes clear that he's a complex individual who's been through a lot. From the loss of his grandfather to his growing interest in conspiracy theories, Kyrie has experienced a shift in his priorities and outlook on life that has affected his relationship with basketball. While his actions and words may seem erratic and confusing, they are rooted in personal struggles and beliefs that many of us can relate to on some level. So, while Kyrie may be misunderstood by some, at least we can now understand where he's coming from and the challenges he's faced along the way. So what do you think? Is Kyrie really misunderstood or not? Share your thoughts with us in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.